This one here is the first uh, definite integral. I have bounds of integration, the zero and the pi. And I missed that. So I want to take the integral of x sine x dx. So I need to use integration by parts to uh, calculate this integral, and then I need to evaluate it. So I'm going to go x, 1, 0. And then I'm going to start with my sine x. Integrate sine x, that takes me to minus negative oops, cosine x. And then integrate that one more time, that takes me to minus sine x. Now I'm going to go diagonally and multiply, and you can see why I can stop there with that 0. I don't have to multiply 0 by something, it's 0. So I just get, I'm just going to get two terms here. So the first one is this product. And then, oops, I forgot my plus minus. i got to go plus minus. And then the next one is this product. So if I write that out, I get that this is equal to um, minus x cosine x. Uh, and then I get a double negative, so I get plus sine x. Um, I don't need to write a plus c because I'm evaluating, and I'll throw a set of parentheses around this so I don't get confused about what I'm evaluating, from x equals 0 to x equals pi. As I evaluate it, I'm going to do the pi first. So I get, um, and I'll draw a little unit circle here. Um, pi is here, and 0 is here. You should know that. Um, so, and remember, x is cosine, right? So I get, and what I mean by that is x, on, x is cosine on the unit circle, right? And y is sine. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to the uh, pi. So I want to evaluate, I'm going to get uh, minus pi times, let me go this right now, cosine of pi plus sine of pi. And then that's going to be my first bit. And then I'm going to subtract. I don't have space. Um, yeah, I do. Minus, open bracket. I'm going to get minus 0. That's 0 being plugged in for here times cosine of x. So I'm not going to write cosine of 0. I'm just going to write 0 because it's going to be minus 0 times, right? And then plus sine of 0. So plus sine of 0. Now i got to use my trig skills. Um, this gives me minus pi times the x-coordinate here, the cosine value, is uh, minus 1. And then sine of pi, the y-coordinate over here, right there, there, <laughs> is uh, plus 0. And then I get uh, minus 0, and then uh, minus sine of 0 is 0. So I get uh, all a bunch of zeros there. So I, what I just get is double negative on my minus, on my pi, which gives me an integral value of pi.